What's up, fams? We got to talk about this. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that sub button and shout out to my gang, gang, gang. Trippy, what are you doing? Now, we got to talk about this one, man. Now, Trippy Red, over the past few days, he's been going through it, man. He's been going through it. You guys know he broke up with his girlfriend and they ended up getting back together. But I've been watching some of his live streams and hearing what he's saying. You can tell that he's going through it. Now, we all know whenever we see Trippy, he's out there smoking a wood, probably singing. If not, he's looking happy as hell. But last night, people saw Trippy Red in a different light. He posted a bunch of stuff on Instagram, and it looks like there's something going on, okay? He first said that he was sad, okay? Then he posted a video. I don't think my emotions matter to anyone. Being rich doesn't change the world for you. You can still find yourself crying in a half a million dollar car. I want to say, man, if he turned these words into a goddamn song, it's going to be lit. I'm just saying, okay? Now, he then went on to say, slowly but surely about to find myself disappearing. I'm convinced everyone is sick as fucking only chase evil shit. I'm convinced that I'm just even more unhappy. I fake it for everyone. He then says material things could never be as good as being loved alone. As if I took a pic in the mirror and all you will see is my clothes, not my face, nor my hair, nor my soul alone. If you feel me, just cry with me. People started to get very worried about Trippy. Even his mother, she reached out to him and this is what she had to say. She goes, pray that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I love you. God got you. And if you need to talk, call me. My love is unconditional. You don't have to vent on social media. I know you feel hurt. I'm praying that God heals your heart. I've been in your shoes. It will pass and it does get better. Trust me. I love you. Good night. So that was his mother speaking to him. Oh, man, we got to help Trippy Red, you Now, a lot of this drama that Trippy's in right now, I'm going to be honest, guys. It's his fault. There has been a few beefs where he could have just stepped away from, but he kept the beefs going. Now, this has caused some fans to look at him as a hater. And for him, he's probably looking around like, yo, how come they don't treat me like these other people, man? Where is the love? Now, what I will say about some of these fans out there, man, a lot of these fans are fake. Let me tell you guys why. Yesterday, I saw the same fans out there blasting Daniel Bagoli for having a ghostwriter. But guess what? They like 6 9 though. And 6 9 has a ghostwriter. 6 9 actually has multiple ghostwriters. And it's been said that he has ghostwriters. But fans of him will look over that and they'll blast other people for having ghost riders like it's it's the craziest thing ever and that's just what fans do fans are hypocritical if trippy wants to fix this situation he needs to stay away from all beef okay uh stay away from all beef start eating salads uh stick to the weeds but just stay away from beef and not only that it doesn't help trippy red that every time you see him he's happy he's having a good old time he's singing smoking having fun and he's not out here playing victim trying to get them suicide coins. Now, suicide is not a joke at because there are some people out here, trust me, in the music industry, they faking it for the coins and for the empathy, man. They want people to feel sorry for them. And, but a lot of the fans don't know that and they become connected to those people and they think it's real. Now, one of the craziest bars, and it's not even a bar, but one of the craziest things that Trippy Red said in that post was the fact that you could sit in a car that costs half a million dollars and just be crying. Now, that's to let you guys know that a lot of these guys out here that have money, they're still going through problems. Now, people like to say that money can buy happiness. Now, to those people that say that, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I mean, I've always been happy, but I will say that I'm even happier with my monies, okay? I don't have to worry about my freaking lights being cut off when I'm sleeping. I don't have to worry about going without internet for the whole month. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I have money for a while now, but 
I like having money. I'm just saying. You guys have a great day. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below, man.